Yo Hacksters, Alex Glow here. It is the holidays, but I have not forgotten about you. Uh, it's still Fun and Friday, and I still have a really cool, th actually a cooler thing than usual for you here today. Um, so we got a package from uh, One Bit Squared, aka Pyotr, who's super awesome, and I can't wait to open this because I think it's something that is currently funding on Crowd Supply. Otherwise, I've got the title of this video all wrong, <laughs> so that would be embarrassing. Let's see. Am I right? Am I right? Oh, it's a box with an envelope. Well, oh yes, fantastic. I hope you have fun with the ice. But this is so cute. With the icebreaker, let me know if you have any questions. Um, there isn't any getting started information just yet, at least at the time of shipping, which is admittedly a couple of weeks ago. But there is a Gitter channel. Uh, with a community that can talk to you about the icebreaker. This is really cool, actually. I love this packaging. Um, makes me feel special. Wow! Okay, 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 okay. Wow, this is so cool. We get an early look at this. Um, so we've got some little connector cables. Fantastic. Um, one of the neat things about this thingamajig is that it makes it way easier to learn how to use FPGAs. Oh, what are you, actually? Huh. <gasps> no way! He sent us a huge LED screen. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, you'll understand why this is so cool in just a minute. We turn the brightness here. We're kind of getting blinded, huh? There we go. Uh, uh, too much contrast. All right. It, wow. Oh my God! Thank you, Peter. Wow. Um, and then we have a few Jersey stones. I'm sure I'm saying that super wrong, but um, here's the icebreaker itself. Wow. And it, the reason it's called this and spelled this way is because it is using a lattice ICE 40 chip or ICE 40 or whatever. I'm not sure how you would pronounce it, but wow, look at this. Okay, and uh, it has ports for PMOD extensions. Uh, we'll get into that again as well in a second. Wow, look at this. Not only is it gorgeous, but it also fits really well into my little screen layout, so that makes me really excited too. Uh, then we have these PMOD extensions, which is a standard created by Digilent for, I think specifically, FPGA expansions. Um, this is the uh, LED panel driver PMOD. Wow, I can't believe you sent us all of this. Wow! I wonder where this plugs in exactly. It must use this cable. Yeah. Okay, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> oh, I totally know what I'm doing this weekend. It's the season for I mean ice, icebreaker, snow. It kind of it's kind of thematic. Here's a dip switch P mod. Um and there's some history behind this, which is that uh earlier this year oh yeah, sweet sticker. Earlier this year I did a um a series on FPGAs and learning to make them. I know we've got some repeats on here. Let's put it here. There we go. All right, neat. Okay, cool. So earlier this year, yeah, I did a, a series on what FPGAs are called FPGA week. Surprise. Um, and uh, I forget where I was going with that. <laughs> oh yeah, so the first video uh, started out with me talking about this workshop that I'd taken uh, from Joe Fitz, uh, aka, um, oh you know what, I've forgotten his handle right now, what is it, Fitz Security, Fitz Home Security, Joe Security, something like that, Securely Fitz I think is what it is, um, but I'll have to put that in the description. Anyway, um, this workshop that I'd taken called WTFPGA. And it involved uh, controlling some uh, seven segment LEDs with some dip switches, uh, only it was done on this really expensive uh, board that we couldn't take home with us, understandably, because they cost a lot of money. <laughs> and so, ow, <laughs> getting too excited about these dip switches. Mm. And so it's really cool to see that this little board, which only costs $70, well, uh, is being 
they've they've taught now that same workshop using this thing and they made these two p mods specifically so that they could do that so there's a dip switch one and the seven segment led one and uh yes that is what's going on there um and then we have this led panel driver so let's take a look at the page for this on crowd supply i think it's got about 13 days left so you got about two weeks um i need to actually pull this up one sec there we go. There, so Icebreaker FPGA. Um, that's what it's called. They are already like 250% funded. Thank you for the little meter there, Crowd Supply. 13 days left, 279 backers, um, and supposedly it's going to ship in the end of June 2019. So that's not too bad. Uh, that would be just in time to get ready with them for uh, teaching a class on it in the next school year if you wanted to do that. I think that'd be so cool. Um, so they've got a little video about it, but basically the whole idea is to make it really easy for teachers and stuff. So you can get one for $79 uh, that includes everything for the workshop. You can get one with an HDMI kit for 99 bucks, uh, with the LED panel kit for 124, everything for 164. Then you get a 10 pack. Uh, for in case you want to run this with like your office, uh, your hacker space, maybe a school class, any of those things, it would be super cool. Uh, and then of course there's early bird prices as well. So everything I just told you, but cheaper, so cool. Um, there's a ton of features and specifications listed here, plentiful fast storage, lots of IO, lots of IO. Um, did you notice the, f how many PMOD outs? There's only two, but like, there's also a thing for RGB LEDs. There's also a, a separate peep mod that like snaps off with three little buttons on it. Super cute. Um, that's the pre-wired breakaway P mod module. Um, wait, five LEDs. It does have five LEDs in a star pattern. That's so cool. As well as the three push buttons. Let me show you this real quick. Star pattern, three buttons. Very neat. Um, Tells you a little bit about the PMOD connectors. Uh, this is a digital digitalent standard um, used to connect low frequency, low IO pin count peripheral modules to host controller boards. There are six pin and 12 ver pin versions of the interface. Um, and you can read more about that if you wanna look it up. Uh, here is the video series I was telling you about before. Uh, the first one was called What is an FPGA? or FPGA week. And I talked about this is the, the previous board that we were using here, this Digilent board with the Xilinx chip, the Basis 3 board. And uh, as you can see, it had a bunch, like a row of switches and four uh, seven segment LED uh, modules on it. Uh, and then I'm holding a little WTF PGA booklet that we were learning from. Weirdly meta here. <laughs> but you can see more about like what we learned in there and stuff uh, and the demos of what the um, What the workshop did as well as you can see um, the other Boards that we did in that series which were the tiny FPG up do we know and beagle wire so this is a really nice inexpensive, affordable board. It runs on an open source tool chain. So cool. It's got block diagrams available. Um, and then it tells you about the workshop itself. So apparently uh, they already taught a version of this at Supercon. And I think I missed it because I assumed it was going to be on the same hardware as before. Um, but there's links to all the workshops and stuff uh, and about the PMODs that we just talked about. Um, as well as the HDMI output one, and oh my goodness. So there's a bunch of cool content here from uh, Micah Scott, AKA Scanline, who is a super awesome person and has done a ton of cool geeky videos on how to get different things running. You can get Rickrolled if you like. <laughs> Just like, look at the quality on this thing, it's ridiculous. Um, but there's this five part series sort of thing. Um, that you can check out that are all uh, videos by Micah. Um, down at the bottom, there's a ton of comparisons uh, talking about, so actually these are mentioning some of the same ones that we mentioned in FPGA week. So if you watched that, you can sort of get an idea of how it compares to the Updino we talked about, the tiny FPGA BX, 
Uh, and then I haven't yet talked about the Tomu FPGA because I don't think that's come out yet. Um, but I'm really excited for when that one does. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Tomu, it's a tiny little board that fits inside of your USB port. I've got one somewhere, but they're easy to lose as well because they're so tiny. Um, but they're the most adorable little thing. And uh, is it here? No. I never know if it's like an empty bag or one that has a Tomu in it. It sits, it fits inside of your USB port and uh, does all kinds of cool stuff. And they have an FPGA version coming up. Um, really neat. Uh, so, also in this campaign, they mention a, it references an article by Alistair, um, one of our big blog contributors, and you can read all his take on this, which is sure to be very in-depth. Um, he does a lot of really excellent research about this stuff. Um, be sure to check out the, what is the FPGA, FPGA Week content. You can also go to onebitsquared.com to see more products that they have. If one bit square sounds familiar, that might be because you're familiar with the one bitsy STM32 F415 dev board, uh, which has a JTAG and SWD interface. Uh, you might also know them from the Black Magic Probe, which is a pretty popular kit. And there's also a bunch of other stuff on here for building your own sort of mini or micro drones. I'm not sure if there's like a cutoff for like, is there like a featherweight? you know, bantamweight drone or whatever is bantamweight, something that you mill on the bantam 3D print. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, it's a mill anyway, not a 3D printer. Um, got off track. <laughs> there was one more thing I wanted to show you. Oh yeah, you can find the data sheet for the ICE-40 Ultra Plus family, of course, on the Lattice Semiconductor site. Um, has, you know, a bajillion pages of all the info you could ever need. How many pages is this? Uh, 51. So I definitely read all 51 pages of this and I can definitely answer no. Uh, go check it out if you have more specific questions about the chip itself that's involved. Um, which one is it? The ICE 40 UP5K FPGA. And again, at the bottom of this campaign, they have a whole list of uh, comparisons versus other um, boards and also the chips that they use, so you can kind of uh, check that out. And it's open source hardware, so we love it! So thank you so much, Pyotr. This is so cool. I cannot wait to have a chance to uh, go through this whole workshop again. Oh my! I feel like I'm gonna level up like five times uh, doing this, and I'm, oh, I have to think of something to put on here. That's gonna be so cool. Um, Thanks for watching. Have an awesome Fundum Friday as usual. Uh, we will have some more uh, recorded stuff over the next few days, so don't go away. We're not going to abandon you. And uh, we'll be back sometime next week with live content that you know and love. Happy holidays. <laughs> have a great weekend. I'm Alex Glow. Goodbye. <laughs>